Let's talk about DIY not. Hey, you beautiful people, Jason here, and welcome to my workbench. So I'm here in the family crafting area, which is uh, in our conservatory, but I think it's important to have a space that is separate to the studio, um, if possible. This is something that I like to do to relax. Um, for me, it has really positive mental health benefits. I stop, I breathe, I take my time. And whilst I'm working on these uh, modules, I find myself uh, just beautifully calm. <laughs> and I think that's something important for all of us. Now, I know for some of you, you might feel absolutely thoroughly shocked uh, to, to hear me say that. You'll probably frustrate the heck out of you. But um, until you've tried it, I don't think it's something you can rule out for exactly that. Now, I made airfix model planes tanks cars as a kid uh, and i found that and then i moved on to the sort of warhammer uh dungeons and dragons figurines which i painted and i find that diy uh synth building really does give me that sense of calm that i used to get and it's a great way of shutting off uh i'm not on the phone when i'm doing it i can't be because i'm focused unless of course i am on the phone because um I need the instructions. Yeah, so soldering iron, primarily most, put your most of your money in that. Um, but you should be able to do it relatively cheaply. I mean, you could do it between 15 and 100 pounds, um, which actually pays for itself when you consider that the cost of modules that buy you buy pre-made as to the kit, uh, you do make a saving. So you could quite easily with a, you know, a few kits, make that money back and then be in profit uh, and also you'll be able to mend your own leads <laughs> which is also very handy but yeah start with something reasonably priced if you're unsure get some good quality solder next uh, treat yourself to a, uh, a solder sucker because that can also be very very useful if you're not used to you know heating up a component and feeding in the right amount of solder you can often overdo it so that would be a, a good thing also good quality tools small tools so wire strippers they, i mean these are great they weren't three quid i think i paid for those um again these weren't expensive five or six quid very nice small kind of uh pliers and you know angled snips uh for cutting off tails of components very useful uh and the the mat i've got on my desk is actually just an ikea desk mat that's it really that's all you need other people will use the glasses with the magnifying glasses and the light built in i like to use the magnifying style with light built in on top of that as well you know hands free if you're you know using small tools and a hot iron 350 400 watt iron um, or degree iron whatever it is not what 350 degrees ouch S like sizzling then you want your hands free uh again this was you know german supermarket cheap fiver it, it's bench friendly so it comes off when my daughter wants to do her, her pom-poms so in the first instance you don't need to know any electronics to make these things but if they don't go right and they suddenly stop working it can be a case of just taking the module whatever getting it back in front of you zooming in with this lovely magnified view and and you can see that maybe the solder has come away from the circuit and this you know it's dry, you've got a dry joint and that can be you know one of the things that um that will stop your your bit of kit working otherwise you know uh, i've made a couple of other things and i've never i've never had any issue so the positive side of of building the mental health benefits is beautiful calm serene almost meditative state that you get into when you're following the build you're flowing you're grabbing a component you're loading the, the board you then you're soldering it's just it's a beautiful zen thing um and it's a it's a definite way to occupy those destructive parts of your mind and put them to something positive. It makes cheaper modules because you're doing the 
the actual work, right? So um, pre-assembled, you know, I don't know how much this is pre-assembled, I can't remember. Pre-assembled price, ka-ching! Build price. So, I mean, you can see straight away that um, it's worth it's worth doing these things. That was um, that was my first modular kit, and it is considered a beginner kit because you are simply locking, you know, uh, potentiometers and inputs and outputs onto a board, and then the the hardest thing is to just solder along each side of it. Now, obviously, it's quite small, so you have to have a steady eye. Magnifying glass really helps, and there you go. So that's why, that's why. Anyway, uh, I hope you find this video useful. I'm gonna play out with a bit of music um, and also a bit of sort of footage of me uh, building the stereo output module, the one new stereo output module to go in my new Bifaco 7 U case, which has a one U strip. So I've got a mixer and an output module to make things a little bit neater, give you more space for, for modules. Anyway. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and enjoy. And until the next time, just keep soldering on.